It's obvious that transparent keyboards are becoming more and more popular lately, but with so many options, there can only be one crowned as king. Well, I think I found it. This is the Keyboom Phantom 81, and for the price of $160, I feel safe to say that at this point of the year, this is the best transparent keyboard you can get. I mean, just by unboxing the keyboard, you can already tell that this is not going to be a cheap quality keyboard. Inside the box includes a sticker, an instruction manual, a keycap switch puller, extra switches, a huge microfiber cloth covering the keyboard, and a Type-C cable. For transparency, Keyboom did send me this keyboard for review, but as usual, it won't affect my review in any way. Starting with the exterior, this is a 75% layout. It has a row of function keys, a volume knob, and a set of arrow keys. Keycaps are made of PBT, but it doesn't have that textured surface like on the PBT keycaps we're used to seeing. However, that isn't to say that it doesn't feel good. In fact, I find the glossy surface to be even grippier and more comfortable to type on. On the side of the keyboard, you'll find a Type-C port for charging, a Mac slash window switch, and a connectivity switch. The cool thing about that is that there are three ways you can connect your keyboard to any of your devices. One is the standard wired option, the other is Bluetooth, and lastly, a 2.5 gigahertz wireless dongle, which is magnetically stored on the bottom of this keyboard. I think it's important to note that although this keyboard is mostly made of plastic, it feels extremely rock solid. There is no flex to it whatsoever, and I dare say that it feels more premium than some of the metal cases out there. While I am a fan of the build quality, I'm not really a fan of the colorway. But it does allow for more RGB shine through, which is a major selling point of this keyboard. Not only does this keyboard have per key RGB, but it also has an array of them on the back. Combined with the clear keycaps and switches, this keyboard fully illuminates itself and the surface it's on. Speaking of switches, the ones in here are the Kale Crystal Clear Linear switches. And from my testing, I'd say they're all right. The switches have a bit of wobble and scratchiness in them, but with the SA profile of these keycaps, it's not noticeable at all. It is said that these crystal switches are pre lubed but if you want to lube them yourself or you prefer tactile or clicky switches, it's a good thing that this keyboard is hot swappable. Okay, so I've been using this keyboard for a couple of weeks now, and there's definitely things that I love about it and some that I don't. So let's start off with what I like. First of all, I love the build quality of this thing. It's heavy, it's sturdy, and for the most part, it doesn't feel cheap at all, considering it's mostly plastic. Usually, I prefer a 65% form factor, but the extra function roll has really grown on me. I find it pretty handy using the brightness and media control, especially on the Mac. Again, the keycaps just feel really nice, and because it's clear, the fingerprints you would normally see on the glossy keycaps are barely visible. Now, I'm not a huge RGB person, but if you are, I think you'll appreciate how many RGB modes this keyboard has. It ranges from static to blinking all the way to rainbow. In terms of this keyboard working as a keyboard, it works wonderfully. I had no issues with either of the three connectivity options, the battery life is decent, and there's no input lag. In all honesty, it has been a very enjoyable experience typing on this keyboard. Now to what I dislike about this keyboard, and there's only really two. First, I would love to see more color options. I feel like the transparent yellow can be a bit off-putting for a lot of people. Even if it means to sacrifice some RGB for an opaque case, I feel like it would be more appealing. Second of all, I would love to see height adjustment feeds added onto the bottom of the keyboard. I feel like the keyboard right now is just a little bit too flat, a little bit too tall. I kind of have to put in more effort into reaching the keys as opposed to just kind of hovering above them. All in all, this is a fantastic board. It basically has everything you would want out of a mechanical keyboard, like hot swap, RGB, and wireless connectivity. For $160, I wouldn't exactly say it's a steal, but it's definitely worth your money, especially if you're looking for a board that has everything. Link in the description to where you can get yourself the Keyboom Phantom 81. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.